to the Environmental and Water Sciences section of the Department of Earth Sciences. The Department of Earth Science is located in two buildings on campus. The Applied Geology section of the Earth Science Department is on the ground floor of the Chemical Sciences Building and the Environmental and Water Science section of the Earth Science Department is located in the Life Sciences Building at Core 2 on Level 3. Our main research aim as the Department of Earth Science is to study fundamental processes and to investigate the linkages between the different components of the Earth system. This includes the solid Earth, the hydrosphere, the biosphere and the atmosphere. Research covers a number of topics including petroleum geology for the geology section, economic geology, exploration, geochemistry, and then for the environmental and water sciences, the topics include integrated water resource management, surface and groundwater studies, as well as fluvial geomorphology. For the degree structure for the environmental and water sciences program, you may be accepted either for the BSc EWS three-year degree or the extended curriculum, which will be the four-year degree. The basic subjects that will be covered by both courses include fundamental subjects like earth science, life science, chemistry and statistics. And later this will then develop into environmental and water science, geology, chemistry and biodiversity and conservation biology. The environmental and water sciences program also includes a postgraduate diploma in integrated water resources management and then also an honors degree, which is for another one year duration. And then you may also wish to continue with a master's or a doctoral degree in environmental and water science at the later stage. Once you are ready to begin your registration process, there are some terms that you need to become familiar with. For example, subjects we refer to as modules that you need to register for. These are then divided into core modules or elective modules. Core modules are those modules that are compulsory. So these are subjects that you have to take as part of your degree. And then we also have the elective modules and these are optional subjects, a selected few subjects that are included as part of your degree for you to choose from to complete your credits for this course. There is also a term we refer to as prerequisites, which you will need to know about when you register for level two or level three. So this will refer to students that are uh, returning. So they would register for second or third year or their fourth year. And so prerequisites are lower level modules that you need to complete before you can take the next level. So for example, if you wish to do environmental and water science at second year level, you need to have passed Earth Science 111 and 121 before you can register for those subjects. So a prerequisite for environmental and water science modules at second year would be ESC 111 and 121. If you have been accepted into the three year degree for the Bachelor of Science in Environmental and Water Science, at your first year, you need to register for the following modules. You would need to do Earth Science 111 and 121, Life Sciences 141 and 142, Physical Sciences 116 and 126, and then you need to select one chemistry module, either Chemistry 116, which is in the first semester, or 126, which is in the second semester. You only need to do one. It is preferred that you choose the first semester one, especially for those who may not have done uh, physical science at high school. Then you also need to select a statistics module, one statistics module. Again, one is in the first semester and one is in the second. You only need to do one. And then lastly, you need to do English for educational development, again, either in the first or the second semester. The way you would choose those modules is to split them over the two semesters that you have. So if you're going to choose the first semester chemistry, it would then be advisable to take the second semester statistics or vice versa. The total number of credits that you need to be registered for 
at first year level would be 135 and this is for the three year degree for environmental and water sciences. If you are ready to register for your year level two of the three year degree, there are three modules for environmental and water science that are core or compulsory modules. That would be EWP 211, 221 and 222. Then you need to select elective modules to the value of 60 credits. That would mean you need to select three modules from the following list of which at least two modules are from the same group. So you will not be able to register for one module from each of the three groups below. You need to select two modules from one group plus one other module. So if you choose to do uh, the electives for in group one, which would be APG 231 and 232, that will be the geology courses. Then you need to select one more module, either from group two, which is the biodiversity and conservation biology, or you need to select one from group three, which is the physical sciences. Should you choose not to do the geology modules as elective, you are welcome them to choose two BCB modules or biodiversity modules from group two plus one physics module. It is advisable should you wish to choose physics as an elective for you to take the physics two to seven which is actually more suited to the environmental and water science degree because it is an environmental physics course, should you wish to do that. If you are registering for your final year for your environmental and water science three-year degree, there are four modules that are compulsory at year level three, and that includes EWP 311, 312, 321 and 322. Each of these modules counts 30 credits, so your total credits for your final year is 120. If you have been accepted for the BSc Environmental and Water Science Extended Degree, at year level one, there are three compulsory modules for you to do. That would be Life Sciences 151, Mathematics 150, and Introduction to Science 153. The total credits for your first year will be 60. If you are a returning student and you are going to register for year level two of the extended degree, there are a number of core modules for you to do. This includes Life Sciences 152, Statistics 151, two Earth Science modules, ESC 111 and 121, and then you need to select one chemistry module. It would be advisable for you to choose the first semester chemistry module should the timetable allow it. Also note that Life Sciences 151, which you would have done at year level one, is a prerequisite for you to register for Life Sciences 152. In other words, you cannot be registered for Life Sciences 152 if you have not passed Life Sciences 151. Once you have reached year level three of the extended degree program, this would be level three or year three out of four. There are three compulsory environmental and water science modules for you to register for. That would be EWP 211, 221 and 222. Then there are two groups of electives for you to choose from. You need to select three modules of which at least two of these modules come from the same group and the total credits would be 120. So each module at this year level counts for 20 credits. You need to have six modules in total, three are compulsory, and then three you need to choose from group one and group two of your electives. Once you have reached your final year of the extended degree for environmental and water sciences, there are four compulsory modules for you to register for. EWP 311, 312, 321 and 322 and these modules count for 30 credits each giving you a total of 120 credits for your final year. If you are continuing with a postgraduate diploma in IWRM and you have been accepted into the program you need to register for six modules in total 
four modules are compulsory, and that would be the WAT 734, 732, 731, and 733. Then you need to select two elective modules from the list of four that is provided. Um, those module codes is WAT 735, 736, 737, and 738. So of that set of electives, you need to select only two modules, giving you a total of six modules, which counts 120 credits. If you have been accepted into the Honours Programme for Environmental and Water Sciences, there are six modules for you to register for, and all of them are compulsory, and the total credits you will have for your Honours degree is 120. For any further information regarding the subjects or modules you need to register for for the various degrees, you are welcome to refer to the Faculty of Natural Sciences yearbook, which should be available online. For the three-year degree, it's on pages 47 to 51. For the extended degree, it's on pages 101 to 105. And then the postgraduate degrees you will find for the Diploma on page 123 and for the Honours Degree on page 140. If you have any issues with your registration or you're not sure what modules you need to choose, you are welcome to email me at ywilliams at uwc.ac.za and I can then assist you online.